Hello, it's 2.19 a.m. This is my third time filming this video because I realized people actually watch these things. So now I can't just ramble the whole time. So that's great. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, so uh, what do we get done today? We basically code, wrote out the entire proposal, which is cool. So I'm no longer rambling and that's nice. And we also learned about deep reinforcement learning for vehicle routing and route optimization as opposed to the A star algorithm. That's important because DeepRL is way cooler. And that can also be generalized to a lot of other tasks, like, I don't know, stock market prediction if you're interested in making money and stuff. So that's cool. Um, yeah, so how does the DeepRL system work? So it's broken down into multiple parts. There's the environment, and the there's the agent, and there's the action that the agent can take, and there's a state. So a state is basically each time step of the environment, and the agent is the person that interacts with the environment. The environment is the world that the coder builds. So Lex Friedman in his MIT uh, lecture about deep reinforcement learning says that everything is supervised learning, pretty much. Because even in unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning, you still have to build the world and you still have to give a cost function that the agent learns from. So in this case, the cost function or the feedback loop would be the reward, where each stake an agent takes an action and there's a reward that's given back. So then there's multiple ways to learn. And the way I'm using is state value action based or state action value based. And that's just where you try to figure out the best action at each state. And the model to figure this out, the one I'm using is a DQN, deep query network or something. I'm actually not sure what the Q is. I should learn that. Um, and it basically has two neural networks and you're using one neural network to predict the other one. And you only update that one after a certain set of batches. So that way you're not like chasing yourself, but you're actually chasing competent estimations. I'm not sure quite how the details work, but that's the general overview. So that's cool. Okay. And as for just something interesting about life, if anybody's still here, well, um, I've been reading Elon's biography a lot by Walter Isaacson. I think he's a really good author, but it's quite interesting, right? His prose when writing about Elon is so much different than when he writes about, a, like, let's say Einstein. Like his Einstein biography, I'm halfway through that, is so much more formal. Like I fell asleep multiple times reading that. That's why I'm halfway through it. The Elon biography, it's a lot more light, a lot more interactive. There's more jokes, there's, addend there's more addendums and stuff. So it's just more fun, in my opinion. And yeah, I should go to bed. And if you're awake, you should definitely go to bed. So bye.